How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blake Check. In today's short video, I'm going to be showing you some updates that I've made to my car and my wife is gonna jump into this video for just a sec. She's taking off. Thanks babe. Now before I get into everything that I've done to my car, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my buddy Will over at F The Pump for sending me this new t-shirt. If you haven't already, be sure to follow him on Twitter and check out his EV apparel t-shirt brand. It'll be fthepump.com, which will also be linked in the description below. You've probably noticed that I've been wearing his t-shirts in a lot of my videos. I just really like the message. He's not a sponsor or anything. He's just a buddy of mine. So thanks again, Will, for sending this out to me. I really like the message of being able to drive and have fun guilt-free by driving an electric vehicle. So for those of you who have been around on the channel for a little while, you will be familiar with this car. This is my dream car, my 2018 Model 3 Performance Stealth Edition. And for those of you who don't know, the Stealth and Stealth Edition just means that this is a Model 3 Performance without the Performance Upgrade Package. I made a video not too long ago that went over all the differences between the Stealth Edition and the traditional Performance, but essentially the Performance Upgrade Package comes with a carbon rear diffless spoiler, a slightly lowered suspension, and 20-inch Performance wheels, some red brake calipers on the front and the back of the car, aluminum brake pedals, and a slightly higher top speed. This car's top speed is the same as the base model. I think just 145 miles per hour. I say just, but that's pretty fast. While the traditional performance with the performance upgrade package pushes that up to, I think, 167. If those numbers are wrong, I'll put the actual numbers here on the bottom of your screen, um, but those are probably pretty close. Not really sure why the top speed is limited in the stealth versus the traditional. Maybe it's the suspension and the wheel setup, but essentially it's the same car. You buy the Model 3 performance for the most part for the acceleration, and this car has that. The only problem is that this car when it comes new from the factory without the performance upgrade package does not have all of the cool aggressive sporty looking accents so i if you guys have been paying attention have added some stuff myself to kind of up the sporty aspect of this car to um, make it tell people on the road that there's something a little bit different about this car that this isn't the base uh, model 3. now if you know what to look for um, you would just focus down here on the dual motor badge with the red underline that's really enough to tell anybody on the road that this car means business but i still want to to add a little bit extra. So I wanted to make this video to show you how you can kind of upgrade the appearance of your base Model 3 or change the appearance of your traditional Model 3 performance if you want to for super cheap. So I'm calling this the poor man's body kit. Um, so we'll start up here at the front. I'll tell you guys what I did. Um, uh, first of all, this is kind of what sticks out the most to me. Um, these are some fog light trim pieces that I bought from Amazon. All of these items are gonna be linked in the description below, by the way, if you're interested in buying any of them. But again, this is something I bought from Amazon. These were like 34 bucks. And I really like the way that they kind of um, make the front end look a little more aggressive. So one of the things that people complain about on the Model 3 is that it just looks a little too vanilla, um, too plain without the performance upgrade package. Um, so I think um, whether you have a traditional performance or if you have a base Model 3, um, you should, invest in something like this it's super cheap and i think it makes it a little more aggressive and it kind of ties in the black accents from the front all the way to the back um so again that'll be linked in the description below um, but what i added to that was this front lip vinyl wrap so this is something you can buy um, from test bros they are a tesla accessories company that i'm an affiliate with i have lots of products from them and um, because i partnered with them i have a discount code uh blake check that will get you guys 10 percent off of anything that you guys buy from their store there's a lot of good stuff some vinyl wraps like this they also sell blackout kits which will help you black out the rest of your chrome trim if you don't like to see chrome i hate chrome personally so you'll pretty much find no chrome on my car at this point whatsoever but yeah they have a bunch of cool ppf accessories kits too to help protect some of your parts of your car that take more abuse like the rocker panels the backs of the front seats in case you have kids that sit in the back and just kick those seats they will be linked in the description below that little vinyl wrap kit just cost me like 45 bucks and closer to 40 bucks once you use that discount code. So I love this combo essentially because for the cost of a full tank of gas nowadays, you can have a front bumper upgrade that ties the black accents from the front all the way to the back. Um, so it's almost like a faux front bumper body kit, front splitter. I know that's not what this actually is, but it, for me, accomplishes about the same task for much cheaper. So the next thing I added was these mud guards and whether or not you're looking to upgrade the look of your Tesla, I highly recommend investing in something like this just because they're so cheap. These were like 30 bucks again. I got them on Amazon. They will be linked in the description below, um, but these are really functional and these are surprisingly easy to install. This is the only thing in this poor man's body kit that is not a sticker. This actually attaches at the factory clip locations 
buttons. So you would just pull those out, put this in place, and then replace those clips and it holds it in place just fine. Um, so let's move on along. The next thing I wanna show you guys is this Chrome Delete kit that you can buy from Test Bros. It'll be linked in the description below. Don't forget, you can use discount code BLAKECHECK to get 10% off of this. So I hesitate to say that this was easy to install. This took me and my friends like four hours to install. I don't have a whole lot of experience installing wrap kits, but it was just really tedious, especially once you get into this area here, there's just so many curves and stuff. As you get closer, you can see that there's a lot of creases here because I didn't do a great job. So you can pay somebody to do this for you. I like to do stuff myself, even when it takes a lot of time, um, just so I can say that I did. But yeah, that's something to think about. To buy this kit from Test Bros, I think it costs like 100 bucks or so, but remember you can get 10% off by using my discount code. And I'm sure it would just cost like another 100 or 200 bucks to get somebody to professionally install it. Um, I'll show you guys my video. It'll be linked in the top right-hand corner of when I did this install. Um, so watch that and decide for yourself whether or not you want to try it yourself. So we're almost done, but before I go to the back to wrap it up, I just wanted to point out one more thing up front and it's this black tesla t emblem that i threw on the front um i bought it on amazon too it'll be linked in the description below i'm pretty sure it was like 10 15 bucks so originally i plastic dipped the chrome emblem that comes from factory um, but i kept getting bug guts all over it and it just wasn't holding up as well as i wanted it to up here up front it takes uh, too much abuse, I think, for you to just put plastic dip on it. So I went ahead and just spent 10 bucks to make it so that's not an issue. This is just hard plastic. Highly recommend doing that if you want to keep the black theme going all the way from the front to the back. So speaking of the back, let's move back here. I bought this matte black rear decklet spoiler to differentiate my car from the traditional Model 3 performance. I bought it from Tesmanian. I'm not partnered with them at all. I reached out to them to ask if they would partner with me, but I didn't hear anything back. So if anybody from Tesmanian is watching this now, uh, hit up your boy. But if not, I still recommend buying this or something like it. Tesmanian's rear decklet spoiler was super easy to install. It's just got some 3M adhesive on the underside of it. So it was just plug and play. But yeah, if you guys want a matte black one and you want to copy me, you're welcome to, but they have carbon ones too and white ones. So that'll be linked in the description below. Um, you can check that out if you are interested. Like I said, I threw on this Roadster style emblem on the back. There's some controversy over the placement of this emblem to replace the factory T. Some people think it should be a little bit lower. Some people want it all the way up at the top. I placed it here just because for symmetry, I think it should be like exactly in the middle between the top of the rear deck lid and the bottom of this like tail light line. So you guys can put it wherever you want. That's where I put mine. And then finally, like I mentioned before, I used Plasti Dip on the front emblem before and I had to uh, replace that because it just took too much abuse. Back here, Plasti Dip is fine. So I just Plasti Dipped the Chrome dual motor emblem to match with the rest of the black accents. This has held up really well and it was pretty easy to do. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I'm going to get out of the sun. It's super hot here. Actually, my phone has overheated like five times while filming this. So hopefully I can find a way to edit out those breaks so you guys don't notice. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys that Teslas are essentially blank canvases. You can leave it stock just like my wife's Model 3 over there, or you can do a little work, spend a little money and make it your own. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Blake Check. It's hot. That's a wrap.